Use this tip to fix small nicks and nail holes on your walls. Stay tuned. Hey, Tori here with ToriTalk.com, the place to be if you're at a home buyer or anyone for that matter will find irresistible. Walls can easily get damaged in a home, so it's important to have these materials on hand for a quick fix for walls with sheetrock or drywall. What you'll need is a small putty knife, spackling compound, this one is pink and it turns white, that's when you know it's dry. You'll also need a sand block, damp cloth, and paint, as well as a paint roller and brush. The first thing you want to do is clean the surface before you make your repair. Next, put a small amount of spackle on the putty knife and generously place it over the hole nick or scratch until the compound fills in the blemish. Make sure to use the knife's edge to wipe off the excess. Once dry, it's time to sand until the surface is smooth in a small circular motion. You may have to repeat the spackle and sand steps one more time to get a smooth finish. Next up, it's time to paint and you should prime the area first. Now this is a paint and primer in one so it saves the step, but it's important to also match the color. And if you have excess color from the original can store, use that or visit a hardware store with color matching technology. We gotta buy a new can of paint. So don't forget to get the same paint finish. High gloss would look weird on matte walls and vice versa, so we actually end up getting a semi-gloss finish. Before applying the paint, determine the surface texture. You know, did you use a paintbrush or a roller? You're going to want to match the texture up for a seamless finish. Alright, then you're going to roll the paint on and only use a little bit. You don't want to go crazy with it because you want to make sure that we only apply it to the areas that we need. Use a little paint and extend the stroke just beyond the touch-up area to create the perfect look. And you see how it's just slightly going over the old paint. We don't want it to be glopped on here because then it won't dry seamlessly. And now your paint job looks as good as new. Check out this video next and don't forget to subscribe to our channel below. Want more home stitching and decorating tips? Check out our website www.toritoast.com and until next time, happy painting!